Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Eight foreign companies in fray for Mopa Airport constructions have time till 12 December to reply the RFQ. State Congress resolves to hold Mopa Airport on hold. Nigerians give terrifying night to Arambol residents. Locals recount horror. 15 to 20 Nigerians beat fellow Nigerian with beer bottles and sticks. Four MLAs skip first executive meet of GPCC under Louisino. Congress demands revocation of amendments in Agricultural Tennessee Act. Gold, petrol, diesel prices come down. Gold at lowest price level since 2010. Petrol and diesel prices drop by 2.41 rupees and 2.25 rupees respectively. FC Goa looking for first victory in Indian Super League. Zico's boys set for Delhi Dynamo's challenge. Too many foreigners is not good for ISL, says Brazilian coach. Pune FC get off to winning start in 127 Duran Cup. Pune hammer three goals past Churchill Brothers. Now the news in detail. Eight foreign companies have approached to construct the proposed Mopa airport till now. Companies from Germany, South Korea, Malaysia and Spain are interested in Mopa airport. These companies have a deadline of 12 December to file their reply to the RFQ. Meanwhile, State Congress has passed a resolution to strongly oppose Mopa airport. Goa doesn't need another airport. Dublin is enough. Congress resolution demands keeping Mopa airport on hold. Mopa Airport project is gaining momentum. Eight major companies across the world are interested in constructing the project, which is my right in controversy right now. Sources claim that five of the companies are foreign while remaining three are Indian. Hot Chief Shaft from Germany, Vinci Construction from France, Incheon International Airport from South Africa, Airport Holdings from Malaysia, Ferrovial from Spain are the interested parties. From India, GMR Group, GVK Group and SL Group are the interested parties. Goa government will meet over the Mopa Airport project on November 3rd at Secretariat. Companies interested in building Mopa Airport will have to apply the RFQ by 12th December. Meanwhile, State Congress has resolved to strongly oppose Mopa Airport. It says Dabulim is more than enough for Goa. Mopa Airport project should be on hold. And the existing Daboli Airport... It is catering to the present demand, but there is a tremendous scope to improve it, upgrade it, so that for the next few years, as per the report submitted, as per findings of the ICAO report, it is economically not feasible and financially not viable to have two airports. The airport, if at all is constructed, the people from South Goa will not be able to go because we don't have a proper expressways, we don't have proper infrastructure. Therefore, the party has taken a decision that the <coughs> present Davoli Airport should be upgraded and the proposal for Mopa Airport should be uh, uh, kept on hold. Congress demanded the Chief Minister should come out clear of Costa land controversy which is linked with Davoli Airport. The, when he was in the assembly, he fought for that parking lane. He was telling everybody that there was a scam in the parking lot. Today, that uh, he can't do anything in that scam. He had alleged that uh, Mr. Mohan Gudano, Mr. Digamar Kamath, Mr. Zephili were there. Till today, he has not done anything about it. Hmm. And it is my open challenge to him to first complete that scam, what he had said, take action on that scam, hmm. and then to talk of extra double land. He is only trying to wash his sins. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Devendra Gaukar for print. 
A gang of Nigerians brutally attacked fellow Nigerian, beat him mercilessly and lifted him away while, the, while he was unconscious at Arambol Beach. It happened on Thursday night at around 8. Locals say 15 to 20 Nigerians were mercilessly beating a fellow Nigerian with sticks and beer bottles. Locals intervened and tried to stop them, but they were too violent and fled away with the victim. Locals demand state control over the menace in the area. Exactly a year back, violent Nigerians had created a chaos, a ruckus and had blocked the Porori Highway after they found one of their colleagues murdered. Nigerians went berserk and wild on Parvari roads, beating the police and destroying the public property. Exactly after a year on 31st October, Nigerians are back in news and this time too for the wrong reasons. Nigerians are fighting again, but this time clash among themselves. A local narrate how a gang of Nigerians almost murdered fellow Nigerian at Arambol Beach on Thursday night. Nobody knows what happened to the victim Nigerian who was beaten and lifted by the Nigerian gang. What was the reason behind this attack? Drugs or something else? But now the fact is, this violence has become a day-to-day -day menace for the locals in the tourist belt. While the state seems to have no control over the Nigerian gangs spreading tentacles across the beach belt. Vinod Mithar for Prudent. GPCC President Luisino Falero's first Congress Executive Committee meet was not attended by Digambar Kamath, Vishwajit Rane, Movin Gudino and Babush Monsarath. Meeting resolved that government should revoke the amendments to the Agricultural Tennessee Act. Senior Rane refrained from giving any concrete statement on the issue. Congress is in a block-level revival mode at present. Party observed 30th death anniversary of late Indira Gandhi on Friday. GPCC held its first executive committee meeting on Friday. Digambar Kamat, Vishwajit Rane, Movin Gudino and Babush Monserat skipped the crucial meet. Party will conduct membership drives in all 40 constituencies under 10 general secretaries and secretaries in charge of four constituencies each. Congress plans to revive and strengthen its block committees. So that uh, those blocks which are functioning, uh, effort will be made to strengthen them, consolidate them, so that we have the both committees. Congress MLA Alex Rajinal clarified on the charge of no opposition from Congress legislators to the Tenancy Act amendment in the State Assembly. Uh, I party in Kitya Assembly object corona. Jena Esle amendment to BJP Sarkar Atta Jel Lokani and Kuot Malla, Tenka Kaba Gurpa, Muna Maslo Badkar Zain, Ah Badkar, actually Mark Fido, Puna, I'm against it. Party's first executive meeting under the new state leadership resolved to demand revoking the amendments. Resolving that the amendment to the Agricultural Tenancy Act recently passed by the Legislative Assembly be withdrawn immediately and cancelled. Senior Rane feels that the Tenancy Act amendment matter is complicated and needs to be debated, but he refrained from making any statement on camera while pointing the fingers to the GPCC leaders. <laughs> State Congress observed former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's 30th death anniversary on Friday. Senior leaders and party men paid their tribute to late Indira Gandhi. Then the Wallabai Patel to me, then I saw her birth anniversary. 
जन्माशी साजरा करता तो बराबर इगल भी आज तुम्हें तेजे भी जाहिर पेपर दिवा एक एक खेल पेपर जाहिर ना कारण फिर आसा थी वल्लभ भाई पटेल सीनियर रिपोर्टर लौकिक शिलकार विद वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट देवेंद्र गांवकर फॉर प्रूडेंट इट्स टाइम फॉर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टे ट्यून्ड